Hello guys, I will show you how to overclock your CPU. So first of all you have to go to AI Tweaker. Then you have a uh, three profile. So XMP, manual and auto. Uh, you choose XMP and you choose your DDR4 speed. And normally it should uh, automatically adjust voltage for your RAM. So once you did that, you have to go to CPU core ratio and then you choose sync all cores. And now I want my CPU to run at uh, 4.6 uh, gigahertz, so I will choose uh, 46. So if you want your CPU to run at uh, 4.2 gigahertz, you choose uh, 42, for example. So once we modified the core ratio, we have to adjust the voltage so our CPU can run uh, at this uh, frequency. We'll put uh, 1.36 volts to be sure uh, it can run. And as you can see, uh, the DRAM voltage has been uh, adjusted to the right uh, voltage. Okay, now we have uh, fin the final step. So you have to go to find the, the LLC uh, profile. Uh, in my case, I put it to five, level five, but uh, it depends on your motherboard. So you can try different profile and see how they uh, impact your CPU voltage. So now we'll go back to Windows to see if uh, our CPU applied uh, all the things correctly. Okay, so now we are on Windows. Uh, you have to download uh, one software, which is uh, IDA64, to verify uh, that everything is working. And you have a uh, CPUD in uh, this software to verify some uh, things also. Once you launch IDA64, uh, you can see all the statistics from your computer. So you have the temperatures, uh, your cooling fans, and the different voltages uh, that your PSU apply to your components. So the first thing you want to check is the CPU voltage. Uh, you want to verify that the CPU voltage isn't higher than what uh, you put uh, in the BIOS. And uh, the max recommended uh, voltage for Skylake uh, is about uh, 1.45 volt. But I recommend to not go higher than than 1.4. So here you can check your temperatures uh, in real time. And now uh, to verify that your CPU overclock is stable. So now, as you can see, I'm running the Ada 64 test. So I recommend you to run this test uh, during one hour. And uh, if it passes the test, then your overclocking uh, will be stable at 75 uh, percent. Then uh, the last step to see if your overclocking uh, is stable is to run uh, your game for uh, a few days. If you play your games uh, for a few days and your computer doesn't crash, then uh, your overclocking is stable. If you like the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it will help me a lot. And have a nice day, guys. See you.